Thank you, Emily Chant, for our musical prelude. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Academic Awards Ceremony. We will begin by asking everyone to please stand as our Seneca Air Force Junior ROTC presents Colors and Seneca singer Kimberly Irons as she sings the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets I will now introduce our superintendent, Dr. Carol Birnbaum, to the podium. Thank you, Sarah. And can we have a round of applause for our students who presented the colors and Ms. Kimberly Irons, please? Great job. I'd also like to welcome you to the 2014 Seneca High School Academic Awards Ceremony. Before I begin my brief remarks, I would like to introduce some special guests to my left. Uh, we have Board of Education members, uh, Mrs. Cookie Estelo, representing Woodland Township. <laughs> Past President, Mr. Ted Shinsky, representing Shemong. <laughs> and our Vice President of the Lenape Regional High School District Board of Education, Mrs. Linda Eckenhoff, representing Southampton. On behalf of the Lenape Regional High School District and Board of Education, uh, we extend our heartfelt congratulations to all of the students here tonight being honored. I am simply amazed and in awe about the talent that's in this room. Students, you are carrying on a proud tradition of hard work and achievement, and you are finding your path to success. Now, success has many definitions. Success can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Are you successful when you're happy, when you're wealthy, when you're healthy, when you have a fulfilling job, or when you start a family? So rather than to stand up here and debate the various definitions of what success is, I'd like to talk about two factors that I think contribute towards any kind of success. The first factor is opportunity. At Seneca, the opportunities are vast. You can take up to eight classes, challenge yourself with rigorous coursework, and you can challenge yourself to take an elective in an area that you've never tried before. You also have the opportunity 
to participate in many after-school activities which provide fun, safe events on the nights and on weekends. So if opportunity is the first factor, the second factor that goes along with that is choice. The choices we make around those opportunities shape our success. With every opportunity you're given, you've had to make a decisive choice to support your success. You've had to decide which honors courses to take, how many honors courses to take, do I take a study hall, what elective am I going to try? Hopefully, the elective of courses that you've chose through this year and your years past ignited a passion in you which you never knew you had, which is leading you to a career you may have never thought about before. And while there are so many opportunities for fun and safe activities here at Seneca, you know that there are some teens that are not making wise choices. So I want to congratulate you for taking advantage of the virtually endless number of opportunities and choosing a path that was already setting you up for your success. And you've worked hard to earn great grades, and you've made wise and safe choices. And you represent yourself well, and we are very proud to have you as a member of the Seneca family. So for the seniors, I wish you the best of luck. And while you may be graduating on June 20th, just exactly one month from today, you will never really leave the Seneca family, and we will continue to want the best for you. And you will need to continue to place yourself in an environment where the opportunities are plentiful and continue to make smart choices. And then you will reach that second graduation we expect four years from now. And I wish you much happiness and achievement and, yes, success throughout your lives. Parents, I want to thank you for being here and for supporting this wonderful group of students in all of their accomplishments. And last but not least, I'd like to thank Mr. Spector for creating an environment which helps build upon the rich traditions of excellence in the Lenape Regional High School District. So congratulations to all and enjoy this award ceremony and you deserve to be applauded. Thank you and it is now my pleasure to bring back, <coughs> excuse me, Sarah Hagmeyer back to the podium. I will now introduce our principal, Mr. Jeffrey Spector. Good evening and welcome. I'd like to thank our board members and Dr. Birnbaum for joining us this evening. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Janice Gray. She's the woman you saw up here running around who organizes all this for us. It's a large task to do. And Janice, I don't know if you're in here, but please join me in giving her a round of applause. Thanks, Janice. I would like to give a special welcome to those individuals and organizations who have bestowed our students with a local scholarship. You will hear many scholarships award this evening, but local scholarships represent a very special relationship with our schools and communities. I would like to highlight in your program those scholarships that are memorial scholarships. These awards are not only financial awards, but are remembrances of those individuals who have impacted our school and communities. These special people have been invited to present their awards to their scholarship winners, and we thank you so much for our participation in our program, and more importantly, in your involvement in our school. Thank you very much. Most of them are on stage tonight. Thank you. <laughs> and one more special recognition to those people who have been involved or are going to be involved in tonight's program. Our ROTC Color Guard, Emily Chant, Sarah Hagmeyer, Kimberly Irons, Max Den, Kyle Walker, and Emily Barnes. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. And I have one more round of applause. We have uh, a, our pa Seneca parent group here that um, awards our students with some recognition. And tonight, um, what our presenter is Karen Davies. Karen Davies has been the president of the Seneca parents group for the last eight years. And tonight will be her last academic award. So I just want to give Karen a round of applause. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Education, particularly high school, is not a spectator sport. Rather than watching the parade go by, you have to be an active participant. To our honored students, you are here tonight because you have chosen to do high school right. You have continually demonstrated a strong sense of purpose, a high level of commitment, and a dedication to reaching your goals. 
And it is awesome you may have been involved in the musical, in the band, on athletic teams, or involved in student government. But keep in mind, our number one responsibility is, in, is to ensure that you attain the highest academic success. Tonight gives us the opportunity to applaud why you go to school, your academic accomplishments. accomplishments. Your energy, enthusiasm, perseverance, and creativity are to be admired and are what doing high school right is all about. So we thank you and congratulate you for what you do and how you do it, for being our future leaders and problem solvers, and for stimulating the Seneca High School educational environment. To our parents, congratulations. Tonight is also a time to celebrate the wonderful job you have done raising these fine young people. Thank you and enjoy the evening. Our school awards are being given for outstanding achievement in the following areas. Subject matter, activities, and principles list. In order to qualify for principles list, our students must receive all A's in all three marking periods. This is quite an accomplishment. Our seniors are also being recognized for the substantial college scholarships which they have been offered as well as local community scholarships. We will also be recognizing National Merit Commended Students. Commended students are those who scored in top fifth percentile on the PSAT and NMSQT taken during their junior year. These students finished among the 34,000 highest scoring participants of the over 1.5 million entrants. Our students will be receiving many prestigious awards, but let's not overlook the value our of our school's awards, which are be given for the most outstanding achievement for their entire grade in that subject or activity. When you are receiving your award, please come up the steps to your left, receive your award at the table, and then return down the ramp. I will now introduce Maxwell Dunn, who will announce ninth grade students. Thank you, Sarah. I would like to honor Taylor Adams, who received an award in music for vocal chorus. Please come to the front. Matthew Anderson for the principals list. Richard Bates for adaptive physical education and the principals list. Arpan Bagat for Outstanding Business Education Student, Principals List, and World Language for Spanish Two Honors. Emma Bischoff for Humanities and World Civilization. Gage Brannon for Physical Education. Katherine Brown, an art award for Art One and the Principals List. <laughs> Timothy Durkis for the Principals List. <laughs> Madison DeBella for Health. <laughs> Brody Fitzpatrick for Air Force Junior ROTC Cadet of the Year. <laughs> Daniel Ford for Vocational and Technical Education Award in Drafting and Design One and TV Broadcasting. <laughs> Ryan Hackney for the Science Award in Environmental Earth Science Honors. Hannah Hampton for the principal's list. Sierra Hislop for principal's list and world language in Latin one, Italian one, excuse me.
Allison Lardner for Family Consumer Science and Intro to Family Consumer Science and the Principles List. Erica Lovett for the Principles List. Michael Mosaitis for the Competitive Club's Deborah Hart Challenge. <laughs> Ashley Paytow for Principles List. <laughs> Kelsey Prokapis, World Language and German One. Daniel Schneider, Competitive Clubs, the Deborah Hart Challenge. Jacqueline Sharp, World Language and French One. Catalina Sisk, the National Latin Exam for Latin One, who received a silver medal with Maxima Cum Laude. Christina Sunbury, music for the instrumental concert band. <laughs> Eliza Sweet for the Competitive Club Science League. <laughs> Madeline Talbot for the Principles List. Kevin Wojtowicz for the Competitive Club's DeBoer Hart Challenge, Competitive Club's Math Club, Mathematics Award, AP Calculus, AB Honors, National Latin Exam, Latin One Gold Medal, Principles List, Science Award for Biology, and a World Language Award for Latin One Honors. And lastly, Anna Yanessa for an English Award in English One Honors and the Principles List. Congratulations to all the ninth grade recipients. At this point, please allow me to introduce the Vice President of Student Council, Kyle Walker, to announce the 10th grade students. Hi everybody, I'm going to be introducing the 10th grade students who won academic awards in all of these subject areas. So first we have Taryn Atmore for Com Competitive Clubs Deborah Hart Challenge and the National Latin Exam, Latin 2, Silver Medal, Maxima Cum Laude. <laughs> Tyler Barton, Air Force JROTC Cadet of the Year. Joseph Brown for Vocational and Technical Education Award in Drafting and Design 2. <laughs> Mia Capoli for Music and Vocals, Concert Choir, and Girls Ensemble. <laughs> Shane Carter for World Language in Italian 2-3 Honors. Kevin Curtin for the Instrumental Music Award for Concert Band. <laughs> Emily Gardner, Health and Principles List. <laughs> Josh Geyser, Competitive Clubs, Deborah Hart Challenge. <laughs> Kirsten Jeanson, Principles List. Sunday Ken Singer, Adaptive Physical Education and Principles List. <laughs> Jacob Cobbler, Outstanding Business Education Student. <laughs> Gabriella Magasic for the Mathematic Awards and Algebra II Honors, Principles List, and World Language Spanish Three Honors.
Alyssa Matchett for competitive clubs in Knowledge Bowl. Victoria Mattia, World Language, French 2. Michael Miller, Competitive Clubs, Future Business Leaders of America. National Latin Exam, Latin 2, Silver Medal, Maxima Cum Laude. Principals List, and World Language Latin 2 Honors. Ashley Moore, Family Consumer Science and Child Development. Madison Richards, Principals List. Emma Rimbeck, Principals List. Kevin Shover, World Language, German 2. Diana Sparacio, Art Award for Art 2. Eric Taylor, Physical Education. Michael Underkoffler, National Latin Exam, Latin 2, Silver Medal, Maxima Cum Laude. Tyler Wagman, National Latin Exam, Latin 2, Silver Medal, Maxima Cum Laude, and Principals List. Aaron Welling, English Award, English 2 Honors, Humanities, U.S. History 1 Honors, Principals List, and the Science Award for Chemistry Honors. All right, how about, how about a big round of applause for our 10th grade winners? And it is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Emily Barnes, the President of Student Council. Okay, I'm going to present the 11th grade academic awards First, we have Russell Bauer for Competitive Clubs in Debate Club. <laughs> Melissa Bergdahl for Health. Nathan Butler for Music, Vocal, Chorus and Concert Choir. Charles Castillo, World Language for French 3 Honors. Samuel Dion for Principles List. Adam Felcher for Vocational and Technical Education, Communications Technology 3. Matthew Fillion, Competitive Clubs for Science League, and Music, Instrumental, Concert Band, and Jazz Band. Connor Ford, Humanities, U.S. History II Honors. Nathan Folk, Competitive Clubs for Debate Club, and Competitive Clubs for Future Business Leaders of America. National Latin Exam, Latin 3, Silver Medal, Maximo Cum Laude. <laughs> Dylan Hathaway, Art Award for Art Major 1. <laughs> Mitchell Hay, Science Award for Advanced Placement Physics B. Jessica Hoban, English Award, Advanced Placement, English Language and Composition Honors. <laughs> K. 
Kirsten Horn, World Language Spanish for Honors. Riley Lovett, Principles List. Mackenzie McGlone, World Language for Italian Three Honors. Brandon Millinghausen, National Latin Exam, Latin One, Silver Medal, Maxima Cum Laude, and Principles List. Michael Morris, Physical Education. Carly Patton, Outstanding Business Education Student. Emily Shackle, Principles List and World Language for Latin Three Honors. Zachary Schober, Air Force Junior ROTC Cadet of the Year. Felisa Sparacio, Family and Consumer Science for Fashion and Clothing One. Kaylee Talbot, Mathematics Award, Advanced Placement, Calculus BC, National Latin Exam, Latin Two, Gold Medal, Summa Cum Laude, Principles List, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Medal Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement in the Study of Math and Science, and the Science Award for Advanced Placement Chemistry. <laughs> Catherine Tetrault, Adaptive Physical Education and Principles List. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Karen Davies to present the Seneca Parents Awards. Tonight I will be representing eight different awards, a girl and a boy from each of the senior class. The first scholarship, this scholarship is given to the student who best displays a dedication to the activities of Seneca High School. The student can always be found at different school events seeking to encourage any student nearby. His and her heart for the school shines at every opportunity. This year's recipients for Miss Seneca, Emily Barnes, Mr. Seneca, Chase Bina. Our next award is Citizenship. This scholarship is given to the senior who has worked to impact his and her society for the benefit of the community. This is not to be only school-related functions such as Read Across America, but should also include outside volunteer community organizations. This year's recipients, Elizabeth Raffo and Isaac Padilla.
Seneca's unsung hero. This scholarship is to be awarded to the senior who never takes the leadership part, but is behind the scene making sure things are accomplished. The senior is not self-seeking, but puts others' needs, as well as the school's needs, before him or herself. This year's recipients, Mara Schaffauer and Sean Tuman. And our final award is Seneca's Most Improved. This scholarship is given to the senior who has shown the most improvement while attending Seneca. The student's improvement has been attributed to hard work and dedication to accomplish personal goals. This year's recipients are Emily Albertson and Anthony Kensinger. I will now introduce Mr. Bowden. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> it's my privilege and my honor to, uh, for the tenth year in a row, present the Senior Awards. Let us begin with Anina Arakri. She receives <laughs> receiving the De Deborah Heart and Lung Center Scholarship, the Mount St. Mary's University Dean's Scholarship, and Honors Program Acceptance. Next is Brenna Atmore for the Center College Faculty Scholarship, the Center College Legacy Scholarship, the Center College Summer Scholars Scholarship and Foreign Language Scholarship, the Deborah Hart Challenge, the English Department Award for AP English Literature and Composition, the K. Kiki Constantinos Scholarship Foundation, the National Latin Exam for AP Latin Silver Medal Maxima Cum Laude, the Principals List, the Science Department Award for Advanced Placement Biology, the Seneca High School National Honor Society Award, World Language AP Latin Virgil Honors, and World Language AP Spanish Language Honors. Nathan Balsakevich for the Boy Scouts of America Eagle Scout and the Fairleigh Dickinson University Provost Award. <laughs> Emily Barnes, the Bucknell University Dean's Scholarship, the K. Kiki Constantinos Scholarship Foundation, Seneca High School DECA Award, Mathematics Award for AP Calculus BC2 Honors, and Seneca High School Student Council. <laughs> Ashley Barton, Principals List. <laughs> Mason Bednarik, Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund.
Christina Boris, Seneca High School French Club Award, the College of New Jersey Merit Scholarship, the Guthrie Koch PKU Merit Scholarship, and World Language French Four Honors. Ryan Bowman for the Twelfth Man Club. Derek Bracaneri, the principal's list. <laughs> Brittany Bradley, the Coastal Carolina University Teal Scholar Award, DECA Marketing Club, Marymount Manhattan College Recognition Award, Ryder University's Founders Scholarship, the Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund, and Seneca High School DECA Award. Ryan Bradway, Seneca High School Golden Eagle. <laughs> Shelby Brewer, the Richard Stockton College of New Jersey Stockton Scholarship. At this time, I'd like to welcome Ms. Kelly Tooman and Ms. Penny Twa Dwyer to the podium, and I'd like to call up Shelby Brewer, Austin Lee, and Jessica Vosler for the next presentation. These three students will receive the Indian Mills Memorial School Class of 2010 Eighth Grade Parents Committee Perseverance Award. Daniel Brownell for the K. Kiki Constantinos Scholarship Foundation National Latin Exam, Latin II Silver Medal Maxima Cum Laude, Rowan University's Rowan Scholars Program Award and Honors Program Acceptance for Chemical Engineering, the University of Delaware Delaware Scholars and Honors Program Acceptance for Chemical Engineering, and the University of Delaware University Scholarship. Morgan Brownell, Ithaca College Rod Serling Scholarship, Ryder University Provost Scholarship, Rowan University Department of the Arts Tuition Scholarship, and the Southampton PTA Award. <laughs> Julia Bruner for Principal's List. Amber Barant, Seneca High School German Club. <laughs> Danielle Sesnick, Dominican University of California Trustee Scholarship, the Drexel University A.J. Drexel Scholarship, and the University of the Arts Trustee Scholarship. Marlena Decker, 
the Drexel University A.J. Drexel Scholarship, Drexel University Drexel Dragon Scholarship, and also the Drexel Legacy Scholarship and the Seneca High School National Honor Society Award. <laughs> Jacob Davies, Seneca High School Accomplishment Award. Ryan Deaver, Medford Vincenttown Rotary Award, Outstanding Business Education Student, Sports, Entertainment, and Hospitality, Seneca High School National Honor Society Award, and the Richard Stockton College of New Jersey Stockton Scholarship. I'd like to welcome Ms. Colleen Welling to the podium to present. Ryan, stay here for just a moment. <laughs> I would also like to invite up Rosalind Peraza and Chase Vina for this next award. This is for the Tabernacle Women's Association Award. Maxwell Den, Southampton PTA Award. Matthew DeCroce, the Twelfth Man Club. <laughs> Leah Dinsmore, University of the Arts Artist Grant. Next, I'd like to bring up Mrs. Maureen Modica to the podium. For this next award, bring up Jordan DiPietropolo and Emily Oakes. They will receive the Charles Green Memorial Scholarship, SVDP. <laughs> Justin Dixon for Principal's List. Bridget Duffy, the Medford Vincenttown Rotary, Seaman and Coverly, Seneca High School Drug Squad, and the Burlington County School Counselors Association I Care Award. <laughs> Chandler Dwyer, Seneca High School Student Council Award. And I'd like to welcome Petty Officer Mark Stevenson to the podium to present an award on behalf of the United States Navy. Uh, 
Um, I'm Navy Counselor First Class Mark Stevenson, the Area Supervisor and Retention Officer for the United States Navy here in South Jersey. In America's Navy, a great deal of emphasis is placed upon education. The high-tech work environment and the complex nature of Navy missions demands it. As the largest single source of Navy Marine Corps officers, the Navy ROTC Scholarship Program fills a vital need in preparing mature young men and women for leadership and management positions in an increasingly technical Navy and Marine Corps. It just takes two things to succeed in college, academic performance and money. All too often, it's the money that gets in the way of the graduation. The Navy ROTC scholarship can solve the monetary problem, offering up to $180,000 for tuition plus a host of other advantages. Every year, nearly 25,000 first semester college freshmen and high school seniors across the United States and abroad apply for the Navy ROTC scholarship. The selection process is very excuse me, vigorous, measuring academic achievement, school and community involvement, and leadership potential. The usual selection rate is around 2%. Tonight, I'm here because one of the two percenters is a student at Seneca High School. I had the pleasure of personally interviewing this student for the scholarship, and from the minute we sat down, I saw the potential of a future officer. This student will be attending Boston University in the fall. So it gives me great pleasure on behalf of Rear Admiral Michael S. White, Commander Navy Education and Training Command, and Commander Stephen E. Johnson, Commanding Officer at Navy Recruiting District, Philadelphia, that I present the Navy Reserve Officer Training Corps Scholarship in the amount of $180,000 to Chandler Dwyer. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is William Fenrick for Principal's List. I'd now like to bring up Mrs. Sandy Langan to present the next award. Chance Fenton. The Edward W. Gannett Scholarship. Stephanie Fleming, the Art Department Award for AP Studio Art, the K. Kiki Constantinos Scholarship Foundation, Monmouth University's Monmouth Academic Excellence Scholarship, Penn State Provost's Award, and the University of Delaware Scholar Award. <laughs> Brittany Fowler, the Burlington County College Challenge Scholarship, Jaden Fries, the Old Dominion University Academic Scholarship, the Emerging Leader Scholarship by the Corps of Cadets Alumni Association Incorporated at Virginia Tech. And to present an additional award to Jaden, I'd like to introduce Second Lieutenant Matthew Ingber.
Good evening, everybody. Uh, first off, I want to just uh, another round of applause for all the students here tonight. It's fantastic to see so many young, educated men and women. It's fantastic. Uh, Jane, why don't you come stand next to me? Come a little closer. I don't bite. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Jaden here uh, is a recipient of the HSSP. Uh, it is my pleasure to be here representing the United States Air Force as well as uh, Detachment 750 uh, St. Joe's University. Uh, not too long ago, I was in your shoes. I was in high school, not aging that bad, so the Air Force is taking care of us. Um, this year, we had over 10,000 students apply for uh, the scholarship, 3% receiving it. Uh, majority of the Air Force scholarships cover tuition, uh, textbooks, uh, as well as laboratory uh, fees. Uh, as of right now, uh, you get a $250 stipend each month, which increases to $400, just in case they didn't tell you. Uh, and it's at an estimated value of over $100,000, uh, depending on the student's uh, choice of major. Um, engineering. Yeah. Congratulations, sorry. Uh, <laughs> So on behalf of uh, Brigadier General uh, Robert D. Thomas, as well as Lieutenant Colonel uh, James Turnbull at Air Force Detachment uh, 750 RTC, uh, St. Joe's University, I'd like to uh, give you two different certificates, one from ourselves over at the detachment, uh, welcoming you Thank into you. our Corps, as well as from Seneca High School. So congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Kayla Gerber, the Bradley Kibler Memorial Scholarship, the Felician College Athletic Scholarship for Softball, Felician College Founders Scholarship, and Southampton Township Education Association Award. <laughs> Alexandra Gigantiello, Seneca High School DECA Award, and the Tabernacle Historical Society Award. Luke Gilbert, Nixon's General Store Entrepreneurial Scholarship and Seneca High School DECA Award. Carter Gimbel, the Diane Stroh Memorial Scholarship, Fairleigh Dickinson University Dean's Scholarship, St. Joe's University Achievement and Legacy Scholarship, and Ursinus College Ursinus Scholarship. <laughs> Anna Gomez, Vocational Technical Education Communications Technology Producer. Haley Gordon, DECA Marketing Club and Nixon's General Store Entrepreneurial Scholarship. <laughs> Elizabeth Graham, the Indian Mills Historical Society Award, Seneca High School National Honor Society Award, and Seneca High School Renaissance Award. I'd like to welcome Mr. Rod Lucas to the podium for the next award. In addition to the other awards, Elizabeth Graham will receive the Samantha Lucas Memorial Art Award. Nicole Groves, Tabernacle Education Association Award. Sarah Hagmeyer, Seneca High School Class of 2014 Award.
Robert Hahn for the Air Force JROTC Cadet of the Year AS400. I'd like to welcome Mrs. Becky Adams to the podium for the next award. Hello. And I'd like to bring up for this award Michelle Haynes and Chase Vina. Michelle and Chase will be receiving the Chad Adams Memorial College Scholarship Award. Matthew Hansen, Vincent Town Council, Junior OUAM number 17. Colin Harlan, Boy Scouts of America Eagle Scout Award, Philadelphia University Faculty Scholarship and Presidential Award and Honors Program Acceptance, Pinelands Garden Club of Medford Scholarship Award, Purdue University Presidential Scholarship and Honors Program Acceptance, and Virginia Tech Scholar Scholarship. Jessica Hay, the National Latin Exam, Latin One, Silver Medal, Maxima Cum Laude. <laughs> Allison Hoffman, Knowledge Bowl and Deborah Heart and Lung Center Scholarship. Brandon Judy, Boy Scouts of America Eagle Scout Award, Robotics Club Award, and the York College of Pennsylvania Dean's Academic Scholarship. <laughs> Ryan Kane, Boy Scouts of America Eagle Scout Award and Robotics Club Award. Shannon Kelly, Seneca High School Golden Eagle and Seneca High School Interact Award. <laughs> Holly Kiffer, Dorothy E. Green Memorial Scholarship and Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund. Madison Kirby, Monaghan Family Foundation Scholarship and the Seneca High School French Club Award, Le Cirque Francais. <laughs> Marissa Lefay, Emmanuel College Academic Achievement Scholarship. Brittany LaPointe, Adaptive Physical Education Award and Principals List. <laughs> Nathan Leach, Health Department Award and Rowan University's Rowan Scholars Program Award. Mallory Leonard, York College of Pennsylvania, York Heritage Award. <laughs> Nicholas LeSaint, Physical Education Department Award, Principals List, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Leadership Award and the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Recognition Award.
Kimberly Mahoney, Southampton Township Business Association Award. Brandy Marks, Lenape District Education Association Award in memory of Gerald B. Collan. John Maurer, Delaware Valley College Heritage Award, Monmouth University Incentive Award, and the Clarence B. Gravatt Baseball Award. Next, I would like to welcome Mr. Andy Clegg to the podium. And our next recipient is Liam McGeehan to receive the Sean Clegg Memorial Scholarship sponsored by TAA Baseball. Haley Mendenko, the Seneca High School Renaissance Award. Jordan Meyer, Seneca High School National Honor Society Award. Taylor Mikulski, Vincent Town Council Junior OUAM, number 17. <laughs> Ryan Malesko, the Matthew J. D'Amico Memorial Foundation Award. Kevin Modica, Principal's List, Seneca High School German Club, and the World Language Department Award for German Four. <laughs> Abigail Moore, Northeastern University Excellence Scholarship and Honors Program Acceptance, Temple University President's Scholar and Honors Program Acceptance, and the University of Maryland President's Scholarship and Honors Program Acceptance. <laughs> Sarah Morrison, Chatsworth Home and School Association, Seneca High School Renaissance Award, and the Woodland Township Recreational Athletic Association. Jared Morrison, New Jersey State Trooper II, David F. Stott Memorial Baseball Scholarship. <laughs> Stephen Moschini, Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund and the Southampton Township Education Association Award. Christopher Mott, 12th Man Club, and the Nick Parisi Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> April Nielsen, Seneca High School German Club. Emily Oakes, Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund. <laughs> D. 
Daniel O'Keefe, the Association of Mathematic Educators of New Jersey Scholarship, Marist College Presidential Scholarship, and the University of Scranton Dean's Scholarship. Zachary Osworth, 12th Man Club and Seneca Wrestling Parents Association Award. <laughs> Jessica Packard, Seneca High School Accomplishment Award. Isaac Padilla, Lenape District Education Association Award in memory of Gerald B. Collan, Seneca Wrestling Parents Association Award, Tabernacle Education Association Award, University of the Cumberland's Academic Scholarship, University of the Cumberland's Christian Leadership Award, and University of the Cumberland's Men's Wrestling Scholarship. James Papagno, George Mason University Mason Freedom Award, and John Latanzi Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Rosalind Peraza, Family and Consumer Science Award for Foods 3. Matthew Perkins, Boy Scouts of America Eagle Scout Award, Donald Jansen Senior Memorial Foundation Scholarship, Stevens Institute of Technology Edwin A. Stevens Scholarship, and the Stevens Institute of Technology Scholars of Excellence. <laughs> Nia Pierre, Music Department, Vocal Music Award, Concert Choir and Girls Ensemble. Zachary Pinto, Principal's List. Jordan Powelson, Indian Mills Scholar Athlete Award. Elizabeth Raffo, Debate Club. Loyola University, Maryland Presidential Scholarship, St. Joseph's University Presidential Scholarship, the Knights of Columbus Award, the Spirit of a Hero Scholarship by the Governor's Wife, the University of Vermont Presidential Scholarship, and the World Language Department Award for Italian Four Honors. Sydney Randolph, Drexel University's A.J. Drexel Scholarship, LaSalle University Founders Scholarship, and the LaSalle University Resident Scholar Award. <laughs> Kayla Rapparelli, Seneca High School Student Council Award. Take your time. <laughs> Austin Romanuski, Seneca Eagles Band Parents Association Award, William Patterson University Music Talent Trustee Scholarship, and the William Patterson University Scholarship. Nathaniel Rosansky, Judson University Dean's Scholarship. <laughs> Angela Rubino, Seneca High School National Honor Society Award.
Quinn Rubel, Seneca Wrestling Parents Association Award. <laughs> Steven Saya, Seneca Wrestling Parents Association Award. <laughs> Alexander Santaspert, Seneca Wrestling Parents Association Award. Mara Schiffauer, Marist College Athletic Scholarship for Women's Cross Country and Track, Marist College Presidential Scholarship, Seneca High School Girls Track and Field Coach Psy Scholarship, and the Seneca High School Renaissance Award. Maria Seferin, the Billy Witzig Memorial Scholarship sponsored by J.G. Cronenberger Fine Jewelry, the Music Department Instrumental Award for Concert Band, Jazz Band, and Orchestra, Seneca Eagles Band Parents Association Award, and the Seneca High School Renaissance Award. <laughs> Veronica Shepard, Woodland Township Board of Education Award. C.J. Sietkowski, the Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund. <laughs> Erica Snow, John Latanzi Memorial Scholarship and Montclair State University Merit Scholarship. Kayla Snyder, Stetson University Faculty Scholarship and the Stetson University Travel Scholarship. <laughs> Lucas Starr, Seneca High School German Club Award. Dylan Steltz, McCluskey Brothers Small Business Scholarship and the Medford Vincent Town Rotary Church and Dwight Scholarship. In addition, the Ryder University President's Leadership Award, the Ryder University President's Scholarship Award, and Seneca High School Interact Award also. Ryan Zelk, Precious Gems Memorial Scholarship Fund. <laughs> Brianna Teer, Albright College Alumni Scholarship and Moravian College Trustees Scholarship. Sean Tuman, Debate Club Award, James Madison University Madison Achievement Scholarship, Seneca Golden Eagles Band Parents Association, Seneca High School DECA Award, and Ryder University's Presidential Scholarship. <laughs> Chase Vina, 12th Man Club, Brad Eklund Memorial Scholarship, and Seneca High School Drug Squad Award. I'd also like to bring up once again Mrs. Sandy Langan for another award for Chase Vina. In addition, Chase will be receiving from Mrs. Langan the Lisa McLaughlin Award.
Kyle Walker, Math Club, St. Joseph's University Presidential Scholarship, Seneca High School Student Council, University of Pittsburgh University Scholarship, and Wake Forest University University Scholarship. Gitta Watson, German American Club of the Northern Catskills. Alexander Waitman, Susquehanna University Presidential Scholarship. John Wells, Robert Thompson Scholarship Fund. Daniel Wills, Humanities Department World Culture Honors Award, National Merit Commended Student, Principals List, Science Department Award for Advanced Placement, Physics C, Seneca High School National Honor Society Award, Stamps Tulane Scholarship for Tulane University, and the Seneca High School Renaissance Award. Bryce Winbury, University Centurium Scholarship to Henderson State University. And lastly, the Lenape District Student Volunteer of the Year Award. This year's recipient of the Lenape Regional High School District's Volunteer Service Award, Sean Tuman, demonstrates <laughs> demonstrates that some people are just born to serve. Sean has been involved in community service projects throughout his four years here at Seneca. These include events sponsored by Student Council, Renaissance, Marching Band, and the National Honor Society. He proves his worth time and time again with his strong leadership skills and his ability to connect with others for the greater good. He has organized many drives, including Seneca's Blood Drive and Souls for Souls Shoe Collection Drive. He also volunteers as a mentor for both youth campers at the JCC camps and fellow musicians through the marching band. He was recognized by the Burlington County Times as a Teen Excellence Award winner in 2013. Sean's many selfless acts are what made him a clear choice for this year's award. We're very proud to have him represent Seneca. Thank you very much. Well, that wraps up our academic awards. Congratulations to all the receivers, and everyone have a great night.